Hey, how's it going? It's George from Deck.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to try out iOS 17 beta from your iPhone. So, let's go straight to it. Now, Apple has released iOS 17 very recently, about a week ago, together with other announcements that they made, together with the latest macOS, as well as some new products, including the Apple Vision. Although other products like Apple Watch and iPad are going to receive their own latest uh, iOS beta versions, in this particular video we're going to focus on the iPhone. Now, iOS 17 came with quite a few features which I would like to try out and I'm sure a lot of you guys would like to try out. So, let's go straight into it. Now, in order for this to work out, we have to create an Apple developer's account. Although, now I've checked it very recently, people who are not enrolled to the Apple developer program, they can still update to iOS 17 beta and give it a try. Now, let's go ahead straight into my phone and show you exactly how to do this. Alright, so what I want you to do is to go on your phone and first we want to check if you are able to receive iOS 17 beta uh, updates without needing to join the Apple Developers Program. So kindly of go on settings and then scroll down where it says uh, general and then go on where it says software update. It should look like this by default and from here you, you might have this section right here saying beta updates. If you do, then tap on this and you should be able to see iOS 17 developer beta. If you do, then make, then make sure that you uh, check this option and then go back and then you should be able to see iOS 17 developer beta. If you don't see it, then go one step back and then go back to software, to, to software update and you should be able to see it there. If not, then try to reboot your phone by holding down the power button and the volume up, up key at the same time in order to see this prompt and then reboot your phone. And if you do have the screen, congratulations, you, can, you are able to update to iOS 17 developer beta by pressing on download and install button. However, if you don't have this option and you're not able to receive the iOS 17 uh, developer beta uh, update, then what you need to do is to go back to your home screen and go on App Store. From here, make sure you type Apple Developer on the search bar and scroll down until you find Apple Developer, the Apple Developer app, which should be near the top of the search results. And then tap on the result, and you should be able to see the app right here. Make sure you download it, and once you've done that, then go on go ahead and uh, tap on open. And here you see all the highlights of WWDC 23, which is the latest Apple keynote, which released all the latest uh, products and announcements. And if you want to have a look, you can always go down and see what's up with this. However, what we want to do is to make sure that we enroll to the Apple Developers Program. So that's why we need to go on the very bottom where you see account on the fourth tab. From here, as you can see, I'm already enrolled. However, if you're not, then you will make sure that you are signing in for the instruction, enter your Apple ID and email and everything. And once you do that, you should be able to land on this screen. So what you want to do now is to click on this link right here. And then it's going to open, it's going to take you to the developer.apple.com uh, website where you can go ahead and enroll to the Apple Developers Program. So scroll the way down and you select start your enrollment. At this point, you'll need to follow some steps, including to, to, to agree to some terms and services, and you should land on this page. Because my account is British, for me it's going to be £79. But if you're in the US or any other country, depending on your currency, it should be around 99 US dollars per year. And once you finish that, then what you need to do is to go back to settings, all the way back to settings, and then you should be able to have this section right here. So you can always go to that and then make sure you follow the same step as shown earlier in order to receive the iOS 70 developers beta program. Now there's one extremely important thing that you guys have to do before you update to iOS 17 is to back up your data on your iPhone. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because what if you update to iOS 17 and your iPhone suddenly becomes difficult to nearly possible to use it for daily use and you want to go back to iOS 16. That's why you need to back up your data so that way when you want to restore your iPhone with iOS 16, you'll be able to restore it with a backup that you have already done uh, now with iOS 16. And if you ask me, unfortunately, Apple doesn't provide with a step-by-step -step guide or a, or a way where you can downgrade your iPhone back to the previous version so we kind of have to do this manually and if you're wondering how to do this then I'll make a video very soon possibly within the next one day or two days to downgrade back to iOS 16 without losing your data assuming that you have made a backup uh, prior to 
updated to iOS 17 or maybe even if you have made a backup in iOS 17 it will still be possible to go back to iOS 16 but you may lose some settings and some cool data not, not your photos or your apps but some settings that you have previously set. Now with that effect, you're going to quickly show you how you can back up your data on your iPhone by using your computer. So the first thing you have to do is to plug in your iPhone to your computer by using the iPhone charging lightning cable. Now in case you have a Mac which it doesn't have a USB uh, USB cable, it only has USB-C's, unless your lightning cable is a USB-C cable, then you kind of want to use an adapter. And if that's the case, then I have a link down in the description in order to get a good one which I'm using. Now on your computer, what you want to do is to go on uh, Finder. I can go on my hard drive, which is uh, as a shortcut on my desktop and go on your iPhone. Now here you should see all the information regarding your iPhone, including how many, how many gigabytes you have available, how many gigabytes you're using. And because I have consumed quite a lot of data and that's due to, due to the fact that I have so many images on my phone. So that means that the larger the amount of uh, data you have your phone, the longer the time it's going to take in order to do a backup. Now, if you can back up your photos by using the Photos app from your Mac or sending them on your computer if you have Windows, then please do it because it's going to save a lot of time backing up your data. So from here, what we want to do is to scroll down and choose where it says Backup Now. So we click on Backup Now and then it's going to start backing up your data on your phone. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that if it asks you to uh, to trust or not trust your iPhone, then you may need to go on your phone, uh, enter your passcode and just choose whether you want to trust it or not. It should have a pop-up here saying trust or not trust. So make sure you pick trust uh, on your phone. Now that now this is being done, it's going to take some time in order to do the backup. So I will just leave my computer and my phone as it is right now. Not, do not touch your phone, do not touch your computer uh, until this process is done. Now, in case you don't have enough space in your computer to perform the backup, and that's especially the case if you have loads of apps that load loads of uh, videos and photos and you don't want to delete them and understand why, then you can always get one of these external hard drives where you can store all of the data on those external hard drives. Now, personally, I have done so many iPhone backups on those and they help tremendously. And I highly encourage you to do it that way, so that way you don't overload your computer with so much data and it ends up being very slow eventually. And if you want to do this, which I highly encourage you to, I have a video linked down in the description which shows you exactly how to do this on a Mac computer as well as if you have Windows, I also have another video down in the description or in the top screen somewhere in the video where you can, where you can back up all your data on your Windows computer. Also, if you don't have an external hard drive to do this, I also have a link down in the description in order to see some recommendations or some, some external hard drive recommendations which I offer to all of my subscribers and viewers. And now that being said, you're finally ready to update to iOS 17. Now you have completed your backup, you have done everything, you're ready to move on. Now if you update to iOS 17 beta, please let me know down in the comment section what do you think of iOS 17, what's your favorite feature and whether it runs on your phone, whether, whether it's very convenient on your phone, you can use it for daily use, just let me know down in the description. Further, don't forget to hit thumbs up on this video if you like this and you found this helpful and don't forget to share this video to your friends, you know, for them to try it out and of course, you can help Apple as well by reporting bugs to them. Finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button in order to be the first one to receive our latest videos updates. Thanks for watching and as always, you will see you in my next video.